ALM 1412 LNA module in a GPS receiver, Avago Technologies. Welcome to this training module on Avago ALM 1412 LNA module in a GPS receiver. This training module overviews Avago's ALM 1412 low noise amplifier module and its implementation in a GPS receiver. Avago Technologies ALM 1412 is an LNA module with integrated filter designed for GPS band applications at 1.575 GHz. The LNA uses Avago Technologies proprietary gallium arsenide enhancement mode PHEMT process to achieve high gain with very low noise figure and high linearity. Noise figure distribution is very tightly controlled. A CMOS compatible shutdown pin is included either for turning the LNA on or off or for current adjustment. The integrated filter utilizes an Avago Technologies FBAR filter for exceptional rejection at cell and PCS band frequencies. The ALM-1412 is housed in a 12-lead, multiple chips on board package with small dimensions, 3.3 mm by 2.1 mm by 1.1 mm. The input pin of the device has built-in ESD protection, which sets the ESD level of the RF pin to 3.3 volts using the human body model. The figure shows the simplified internal circuitry. The integrated bias circuitry simplifies external biasing. Unlike typical depletion mode PHEMTs, the enhancement mode PHEMT low noise amplifier that is used in the ALM1412 only requires one positive voltage to bias the low noise amplifier. By integrating the F-bar filter, the module achieves excellent out-of-band rejection and reduces the number of external components and the complexity of the manufacturing process. F-bar technology is used to create the essential frequency shaping elements found in modern wireless systems, including filters, duplexers, and resonators for oscillators. This technology produces small size filters with excellent Q. The excellent Q translates into a very steep filter roll-off or superb out-of-band rejection. With the integrated filter, the no-noise amplifier module achieved exceptional out-of-band rejections, which are 61 dBc at the cellular band of 823.5 MHz and 54 dBc at the PCS band of 1.855 GHz relative to the GPS frequency of 1.575 GHz. The excellent out-of-band rejection ensures that the receiver sensitivity is not degraded by the presence of strong interferers. The LNA module incorporates a shutdown circuitry that is beneficial for portable devices which have limited battery life. If the module is in shutdown mode, the current consumption is less than 0.1 microampere and the forward isolation is approximately 17 dB. The LNA module can be easily turned off by applying 0 to 0 0.3 volts to the VSD pin, which is CMOS compatible. The VSD pin can be connected to a microcontroller to switch the LNA module to shutdown mode when it is not needed in order to extend battery life. A simplified box diagram of the GPS mobile phone receiver is shown in the figure. While the transmitter is sending a signal, part of the transmitting signal may leak to the GPS receiver path. Thus, a good rejection of the transmitting signal band is required at the GPS receiver path to avoid the GPS chipset from being overloaded by the strong interference power.
The diagram shows the application circuit of an ALM 1412 in a GPS receiver application. The input matching of the device is formed by a series inductor to give a very low noise figure of 0.8 dB while maintaining a good input return loss. The output matching circuit is formed by L2 and C2 to optimize for the gain and output return loss. The gain will increase with a higher value of C2, but this will degrade the stability. The input third order intercept point of the circuit can be improved by increasing the value of L2, but at the expense of poor output return loss. Resistor R1 helps to improve the stability of the circuit. A resistor value less than 6.8 ohms may make the circuit potentially unstable. C1, C2, and C3 are bypass capacitors. C9 is a DC blocking capacitor, but it is not needed in the actual application because there are blocking capacitors integrated internally at both the input and the output of the device. All of the three components, C1, C3, and C9, are optional in the actual application. Essentially, the external components needed in the actual application are as low as four matching stability components, L2, L3, C2, and R1, and one bias resistor, R2. The gain of the LNA module can be improved by matching the device's input and output closer to 50 ohms. The series inductor followed by a shunt inductor topology is required to get this impedance. The value of L2 at the device's output was reduced to tune for a better output return loss. This modification will improve both the input and output return loss to more than 10 dB. The gain is 0.7 dB higher while still maintain a low noise figure of 1 dB. The rejection of PCS band is improved to 59 dBc, but the IIP3 is slightly degraded to 5 dBm. The figure shows the circuit's schematic. This diagram shows the simplified Bach diagram for the front end of the GPS receiver. The single-ended amplifier's output needs to be connected to a differential output while the module is integrated into the system with a differential input device as the next stage, for example, a differential input mixer to downconvert the signal's frequency. This can be achieved by using a ballon transformer or a discrete ballon. For applications which need good performance over narrow bandwidth, a discrete ballon offers a low-cost solution.